Alan, you're not going to believe what we have in this home. It's going to blow your mind. Is it a bowling alley? Tell me it's a bowling alley. <laughs> no, it's not a bowling alley, but you're going to be just as impressed. All right, let's go see. Come on in. Right here. This is going to be a home elevator. Wow. And the best part about this is you're going to install it. Amazing, that's great. Okay, so this is a hydraulic elevator, rope two to one. So basically this is the hydraulic cylinder. It's going to be full of oil. It's going to push the cylinder up. That's attached to these ropes. The ropes come down and are fastened to the car frame. And that's what's going to pull your elevator cab up and down. So what do we have to do first to get this thing going? Well, the first thing we have to do is hook up the hydraulics, and that's what you're going to do. The line rupture valve, if for any reason any of the lines of the hydraulic fluid were cut and the oil wanted to come out quickly, this has a ball valve inside that closes and stops the cylinder from descending. Perfect. Snug. Okay, so we've got our hydraulics hooked up and we've got our electrical hooked up. So now we're ready to make this thing move. So what do, I, what do I do? You're going to go up to the platform above us and I'm going to pass you up the steel cable. You're going to wrap it around the pulley up there and feed it back down to me. Perfect, got it. Come on down here, Alan, let's fasten these up. Okay. So now we got our wedge sockets. That's what's going to keep the ropes in place. Okay. So feed that. Feed that cable through the top, and now we're going to keep that in place using this. This is a, we call it a heart, so basically a wedge. Pull that through. And so this is what connects the piston to the frame. That's right. Perfect, nicely done. Simple physics, that's just not going anywhere. So this is just held in by that snug fit? Yep, as long as there's pressure on the ropes, which means there's tension on the system, that heart can't go anywhere, and you're always going to be held safe. Right on. Okay, you know what? I'm going to let the pros finish this up. All right, Alan, we're all hooked up. Want to take this thing for a test drive? Absolutely. Oh, this is amazing. I'll show you how it works. Okay. There's the keys. Oh. All right, so the way a two to one roped hydraulic elevator works is you've got your two ropes that are on a fixed position on the ground, and then this side is attached actually to the car. Okay, so if we push the button. Push the button. We get oil going into this cylinder, which is pushing up that ram which right. is pushing that wheel, which is pulling the ropes up. And it's the mechanical advantage of the pulley that gives us a two to one lift ratio, right? Absolutely correct. So for every inch that cylinder goes, we're moving two inches. This is a very elegant, simple system. It is, it works every time, but we're not quite done yet. Really? Before we can go forward with passing this stage off, we have to do a very, very important test to ensure the safety is there. It's called a drop test. Are you ready for that? Yeah, for sure. Alan, press the button. Okay. Well, look at this. There you go. As you can see, this installation's a little further along. We actually have a cab installed on top of that metal frame that you were working with before. Yeah. And it looks like a real deal elevator. It does. It's an elevator. Okay, so now comes the drop test. So if everything else failed, that's the critical test that engages the brakes and prevents a free fall. How do we do a drop test? First, we're gonna raise the cab up. Okay. If you could just grab that pole there. Okay, so I'll hold it right there. If you could just lower the elevator slowly onto this pole, and that's good. So right now, the entire weight of the elevator is resting on that post. That is correct. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna knock that steel post away. So you have a full ton of weight being stopped instantly within a centimeter of space. Three, two, one. Wow, this thing barely moved. The cables are still slack. What stopped it? Well, there's a mechanical brake on each side on the T-rails, and there's a knurled roller that sits very close to the rail. And as soon as that knurled roller doesn't see any tension, it fires against the T-rail and stops one ton in less than that much space. Wow, well, the drop test was successful. It worked. What happens now? Well, now all the critical tests have been performed. It's time to finish this elevator up. And you can take me for a ride. I'm gonna take you for a ride. <laughs> this is fun. Smooth ride. <laughs>